Welcome to Dose Brain Video. Have you ever been in a long-distance relationship or are you considering one? If you're nodding your head to either of those questions, this is the place to be. You see, a long-distance relationship can be a bit of a mystery to many. It's like a regular relationship, but with miles or even oceans in between. Sounds daunting, right? But it's not as scary as it might seem. There are common misconceptions about long-distance relationships. Some say they're doomed to fail, others argue that they're simply too hard, but here's the truth. Every relationship, whether it's across the hall or across the globe, has its challenges. And just like any other relationship, long-distance relationships also have stages. Each stage is a stepping stone, a new chapter in your shared book of love. And yes, each can be as exciting, confusing, or heart-wrenching as the next. But don't worry, you're not alone. Today, we will navigate through the seven stages of a long-distance relationship together. The first stage is the decision. This is the moment where you and your partner choose to embark on the journey of a long-distance relationship. It's a stage filled with optimism, hope, and sometimes a dash of trepidation. In this phase, the world seems brighter, love feels stronger, and the distance appears to be nothing more than a minor hurdle. You both believe in the power of your connection convinced that it can bridge any geographical gap. But here's the key. Communication. It's crucial to talk, to set expectations. Discuss how often you'll speak when you'll visit each other and how you'll handle time differences. These aren't just logistical details. They're the scaffolding that will support your relationship in the days to come. Remember, this stage isn't just about making a decision. It's about preparing for the journey ahead. It's about laying a solid foundation, one built on trust, commitment, and a shared vision of the future. It's about understanding that while there will be challenges, your bond can weather them. In this stage, you're not just choosing to be in a long-distance relationship, you're choosing each other every day across miles and time zones. Once the decision is made, the real journey begins. Next, we have the honeymoon stage. This stage is a whirlwind of exhilaration, where everything about your partner seems nothing short of perfect. You're both on a high, riding the wave of newfound love, and it's simply magical. The honeymoon stage is characterized by a flurry of romantic gestures. You're both trying to impress each other, and there's a certain charm to this. The roses, the sweet messages, the surprise gifts, they all add to the allure of this stage. You find yourself constantly in communication with your partner, talking about everything under the sun. This is also the stage where you idealize your partner seeing them through rose-colored glasses. Their quirks seem endearing, their flaws insignificant. You're both in your own little world, blissfully unaware of the challenges that lie ahead. But remember, the honeymoon stage, much like an actual honeymoon, is a temporary phase. It's a beautiful bubble of happiness, but it's not meant to last forever. As the relationship progresses, the bubble bursts, paving the way for the next stages of the relationship where reality sets in. Like all honeymoons, this stage also comes to an end. However, the end of the honeymoon stage is not an end to the relationship, but rather the beginning of a deeper, more meaningful connection. The third stage is the reality. This is when the rose-tinted glasses come off and the real challenges of being in a long-distance relationship start to emerge. It's not just about missing their touch or their smile anymore. It's about dealing with the loneliness, the time difference, and the lack of physical intimacy. Communication becomes more crucial than ever during this stage. It's about talking, not just about your day, but about your feelings, your fears, and your dreams. It's about being honest, even when the truth is hard to admit or difficult to hear. It's about trust, believing in your partner, even when they're miles away, and trusting in the strength of your bond. In this stage, the relationship is put to the test. It's easy to love when things are simple, but how about when they're hard? How about when the only thing you have is a voice on the other end of a phone call or words on a screen? This is when you find out if your love can withstand the distance, the silence, and the uncertainty. This stage tests the strength of the relationship. Now we come to the routine. This is the stage where you and your partner settle into a routine of communication and visits. It's like finding your rhythm in a dance that spans miles and time zones. You begin to know when to expect texts, calls, and virtual dates. You have a sense of when the next visit will be and what it will entail. It's a stage that provides stability in the whirlwind of a long-distance relationship. 
you find comfort in knowing what to expect in the predictability of your interactions. It's like a lighthouse in the stormy sea of distance guiding you and giving you something to hold on to. But like any routine, it can also bring monotony. The same conversations, the same virtual dates, the same visits can start to feel repetitive. It's a stage where the initial excitement of the relationship may begin to fade, replaced by the comfort and predictability of the routine. This stage is a test of patience and perseverance. It's about finding ways to keep the spark alive, to break the monotony, and to keep moving forward. It's about understanding that it's okay to feel bored sometimes, and that it's part of the journey. This stage is a test of patience and perseverance. The fifth stage is the doubt. This stage, my friends, can be a tricky one. It's like that sudden storm that sneaks up on a sunny day, casting shadows and uncertainty in its wake. It's when those nagging questions start to creep in. Is this worth it? Can we make it work in the long run? Is our love strong enough to weather the distance? These are natural and valid questions. They are not signs of weakness, but rather, they are indicators of the depth of your commitment to the relationship. The doubt can be a testing phase, but it's also an opportunity to strengthen your bond. Remember, communication is your best ally here. Be honest about your feelings. Share your fears and concerns. Reassurance from both sides can be a powerful antidote to the poison of doubt. It's not about ignoring the challenges, but rather facing them head on together. The doubt stage is a critical junction in your long distance relationship journey. It's a crossroads where your choices can lead you towards a stronger, more resilient bond or towards a painful parting of ways. This stage can make or break the relationship. The sixth stage is the visit. This is a stage where anticipation meets reality. After a long spell of separation, the visit is the moment where two lovers finally get to see each other face to face. It's an electrifying experience, a whirlwind of emotions that can feel as intense as the initial spark of the relationship. This stage is a breath of fresh air. It's a break from the usual routine, a chance to rekindle the romance and a reminder of why the relationship is worth fighting for. It's about rediscovering each other, experiencing life together, and creating shared memories. The visit can be a turning point in a long-distance relationship. It can make you realize the depth of your feelings and the strength of your bond. It's a tangible proof of your commitment, a testament to your resilience in the face of challenges. The visit isn't just about the joy of reunion. It's also about seeing your partner in their natural habitat, understanding their world and appreciating them for who they truly are. It's about immersing yourself in their life, experiencing their daily routines, and sharing their experiences. Visits can bring a new perspective to the relationship. They can reinforce your commitment, rekindle your passion, and give you a glimpse of what life together could be like. So, here's to the visits. The much-awaited reunions that make every moment of separation worth it. The final stage is the commitment. It's an exciting and meaningful part of the journey. This is the point where you both decide to take your relationship to the next level. It's about making a long-term commitment to each other, a promise that transcends the miles that separate you. This stage is often characterized by discussions about shared futures. It could mean deciding to close the distance and live together, or it could even lead to marriage. It's a time of serious conversations, but also of joyful anticipation. The commitment stage is not just about making decisions, but also about celebrating the love and connection that has weathered the challenges of distance. Remember, this isn't just about the destination, but also about the journey itself. It's about the growth you've both experienced and the stronger bond you've formed through the trials of a long-distance relationship. This stage marks the culmination of the long-distance relationship journey. It's a testament to the strength of your relationship and a promise of the shared future you're both committed to building. So, these are the seven stages of a long-distance relationship. We've journeyed together through the decision where couples evaluate their commitment. We felt the passion and intensity of the honeymoon phase, and then grappled with the harsh realities in the reality stage. We've settled into the routine, only to have our faith tested in the doubt stage. We have felt the anticipation and joy of the visit, and finally we've seen the deep commitment solidify in the commitment stage. It's important to remember, though, that every relationship is unique. These stages are not set in stone, and you may experience them differently or in a different order. 
and that's perfectly okay. What's vital is the underlying thread that runs through all these stages, communication, trust, and patience. With these, you can navigate the highs and lows, the uncertainties, and the distances. You can make your relationship not just survive, but thrive, no matter how many miles separate you. Remember, the key to a successful long-distance relationship is communication, trust, and patience. Share your thoughts on the comments below on how you navigated your long-distance relationship if you've been in one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more videos.